Yo, what's up? It's Yizzy on the mic. Y'all asked for the white beard package and deck breakdown profile of what I ran at Locals. Here it is. I'm getting it out in a hurry, but I'm going to try to tell you the play style and how this deck is run. So stay tuned. I appreciate everyone. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you enjoy this, if you make it through it and you're like, you know what? This guy's cool. I'm going to subscribe. And yeah, drop a comment too because anything helps. So here we go. Edward Nugget. Let's start out with the searchers. I run four searchers. I like the um, options I can get with four searchers. There's a little complexity because it's not just all straw hat and it's not just all white beard. If I want to search 2Ks, they both can search 2Ks. If I'm looking for that new gate and want the bump and to play a little bit longer game, I'm going to drop the Ezos. If I want to run more of a rush heavy package and play style, I'm going to search with the Namis and if I need events. So we're going to go with that. Let's start with our next 2Ks. I run 4, 12, 14, 2Ks because this deck, you're just trying to live. You are trying to attack their life, make it that extra extra turn because you're drawing two cards a turn so i run three sanjis his ability is activate main once per turn you once per turn you may add one to the top of your life card and give him 2k and take two rest of dawn and give him so he swings for seven during that turn and sometimes you just gotta do it if you're playing someone that's weak in the rush game or weak to rush in aggro i mean why not? Otama, on play, give one of your opponents negative two. It combos well with Nugget. Combos well with Ace as well. And then we have Jozu, which gives you another option if you're searching with Izo to add more consistency on that 2K. And Makino makes <laughs> your Nami and Izo's legitimate attackers. Um, for my four Dawn Curve, I run two Monkey D. Luffy's. Um, you can play Marco as well. I just needed a spot for the four Dawn curve. Um, in this meta, four is kind of easily removed by Sakazuki or like Gadatsu's or whatever it may be. But some decks can't. And some decks don't have the option of removal. So dropping that four 6k uh, vanilla body is, is, is nice. <laughs> so let's talk about the rush package. I run four Monkey D. Luffy's, two Ace, two Sanji's. I do want to up this rush package a little bit. This worked. I always saw rush when I needed it, and I can always search it as well. So the ratios here work. There was never a moment where I didn't have rush. But if you see yourself lacking, you could easily cut Marco because even though Marco is broken, I think he's a little bit slow in this meta right now. What's next? The events. Four radical three guard points there was never a moment where i'm like i wish i had a radical beam or i wish i had a guard point there's actually more moments where i'm like i have too many radical beams and guard points because you can search it off nami again very flexible if you need an event and you don't have it drop a nami more than likely you're going to see it marco again it's very hard to remove and last but not least our back end edward newgate the car that got banned. Um, this thing's broken. You drop it. Even if you're at zero life, you are living. You know how hard it is to swing at an 8K body? They're investing a third of their dawn just for you to be like 1K counter. You know, they put three on their leader. They swing eight at... It's just not happening, guys. So let's talk about how this deck is played. You take your life. It, it sounds terrible, but you're almost putting yourself at a net negative by countering your life every turn because you're essentially going to take your life anyway and get down to zero. You're going to have a grip of cards, 12 cards, and you're just going to live. And I don't think they're going to jam you. They can jam you, like just put it all in their leader and swing, and you're going to live. Even if you want to like regulate it and have it where they don't jam you till they're fourth or fifth turn you'll be fine because when you live off 12 cards and you drop a new gate you're basically just countering one or two cards that turn and if that feels very uncomfortable with you just play a couple of sim games and just get comfortable with just taking your whole life even if it's the wrong move take everything just take everything you're gonna feel at that threshold where you're like okay this is where i need to counter on these type of swings I don't counter on these type of swings because with that, you sit, you use that counter to save your rush units because you're dropping rush units every, every turn. 
let me think what else in the matchup with purple d luffy or ploofy i think i should have rushed more i would play more aggro in that matchup uh with sakazuki aggro in that matchup and with katakuri and anel aggro in that matchup <laughs> so if anything i would take out one more marco sometimes you can just drop the edward newgate because you know you're going to live and you know that your ace and or monkey d luffy are there and you can possibly just not swing with them swing with your leader get them down to a lethal range but if anything i would change as a flex option possibly one newgate and one marco and add some type of rush package whether it be a zoro one more Sanji and one more um, Ace. Other than that, if y'all have any more questions on how this deck is run or questions on what, why my ratios are what they are, f join the Discord. It's a very small Discord. I'm growing it. So you can drop a comment there or you can drop a comment in this video. Other than that, yeah, here's the breakdown profile and how this deck is played and why have the ratios i do have i appreciate everyone make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and we will see y'all later peace